we would receive phone calls in the office from the folks working on Iron Man. I started a company 20 years ago called Celebrity Machines, and I hate for everything to revolve around the Dukes of Hazard, but I had a General Lee, the pride of the South, driving around on an Indiana license plate. And in that year, the Indiana plates were probably something terrible or had flowers on it, or who the heck knows. Indiana has never been a, a champion in artwork on their license plates, and it's never been very attractive either way until they're just plain or something. And one year it said back home again and all of us kids took it and made it say race home again like we, uh, not lead us to say, I needed a license plate for my General Lee. And the General Lee's license plate that drove around for the entire series said CNH320 Hazard County. It meant absolutely nothing, but that's was the lottery that the General Lee's plate was pulled from. And it changed a couple times. It was tan like the Georgia tan plates. And then for some reason it went green. And then in the 2005 movie, it had a big Georgia peach on it. And it was the current plate of that year. But I needed a plate for my car. So I started researching the prop companies and the builders who would make hand make these plates for not only the Dukes of Hazard, but everything from the Fall Guy to Knight Rider to every television show you can think of all of these cars that have vehicles in them require a plate, and most all of them are not real plates. They're either cardboard, or they're plastic, or they're vacuum formed, or they're actually metal, and they have sandblast mask on them to make them look embossed. And I located a gentleman by the name of Tom Hofarth, and he worked for Earl Hayes Press. And Earl Hayes Press makes everything from cop car decals to there's a internet story where Al Bundy reads the same newspaper 20 years apart. They're the ones that made the newspaper. You'll see beer cans that say beer on them or just anything. They are a prop house. And back in the day, there used to be uh, three or four, four prop houses. Uh, one of them since gone out of business, but um, they all pretty much do the same thing. They will make license plates, newspapers, decals, you name it, anything that's paper related and whatever else they're from. Guns and badges, you know, I was more concerned about license plates. So this gentleman, Tom Hofarth, was nice enough to invite me to Earl Hayes Press and learn how they make license plates. And they were the ones that made the plates for the Dukes of Hazard. Some of the, the mechanics still had original plates and you'll see original plates, prop plates go up on eBay for big dollar and big money. I just wanted one for my car. And so I had him hand make me one in front of me, make a plate. And we'd express that that this is a union thing and they're our craftsmen. And they, man, they, I mean, the artwork and the skill was incredible. But I wanted to learn how to do it myself. And I knew, I knew other people wanted plates for their cars too, even if it was just for a car show setting. Along came a plate stamping machine from a prison auction. And I bought a plate stamping machine with all the dies from a prison auction and had no idea how to use this thing. And it was bigger than this room is and didn't even have the ability to move it or a place to store it. So I taught myself how to make license plates with the help of a convicted felon who used to make them for the state in which I live in. They helped us or he helped us keep all of our fingers on our hands and we're making license plates. And I started a company called Celebrity Machines because all of the plates that appear on the vehicles appear on Celebrity Machines. And I also uh, often rep reference my friend John Schneider, John Schneider from the Dukes of Hazard, the blonde guy. He, back in the day, owned a an exotic car company called John Schneider's Celebrity Machine. And he had everything under the sun uh, in Cannonball Run 2 when Kathy Bach gets out of the Lamborghini that is John Schneider's Lamborghini. So he had a taste for exotic cars and he started a car dealership and a performance shop called John Schneider's Celebrity Machine. So we borrowed the name from him because he's always just been a, a huge supporter of, of everything that we've done and we started stamping generally license plates. Uh, though we had no idea what we were doing, but they were right, and all of the Dukes of Hazard fandom was super duper happy. So 
we were like, well, what else can we do? What other stuff? I mean, Night Rider plate was really cool, and it was on the back of the cool Trans Am that talked, and it said Night in California. So we started stamping Night plates, and there were some Night Rider people that had done it before and kind of held my hand and made sure that I was had the correct font. And I knew just enough people to be dangerous and to make sure that it was they were correct and screen accurate because anybody can get a plastic or a plate in Helvetica put night on it and it just looks terrible. And they are for sale and you can buy them and they do look bad and then they get bad reviews but then they think they're ours and that's a whole other thing. So then one plate turned into two plates and then back to the future. And in 85, when the car, when the DeLorean comes out of the back of Doc Brown's van, it's presented well. And Bob Gale and everybody shot it amazing. And, and it's just the ah moment for the DeLorean. And the first thing you see is out of time on that beautiful California Golden State license plate. And I'm like, how on God's green earth am I going to get the correct, because it has eight digits on a seven digit license plate. Uh, the stickers are, I mean, so overseas, when they would release the movie on opening week, you would get a pamphlet or like a magazine with the movie, not only with your ticket price, but on the back of that had a dead-on shot of the out-of-time license plate. And it had the stickers and everything. So I was able to get it exactly as it appeared, learn how to do the Golden State stuff at the top, and we were off and running with out-of-time plates. So now we have a whopping three, Dukes of Hazard, Knight Rider, and Back to the Future but Back to the Future caught fire. And we were the only ones that made the correct screen accurate plate. And it was awesome. So then Back to the Future started financing other plates that were kind of duds, but other things that, because if you have a company called Celebrity Machines, you can't just stop because you didn't like that movie or you didn't like Herbie the Love Bug or whatever else. You had to make the gauntlet of celebrity and star, license, star car license plates. And then we started getting requests and Fans, uh, this is kind of pre-Facebook groups and whatever else, and our, our Facebook page, and they would be on the, the RPF, the Replica Prop Forum. They said, can you do the plate from Jurassic Park? And we've never done a plate that had a, a logo on it. And we're like, like the Jeep plates? Like Tyrannosaurus? Like, oh boy. The people that build the Jurassic Park Jeeps are unbelievable. And those are not easy vehicles to make. None of these star cars are, but they, it was the icing on the cake when they could put the correct license plate on the back of their car. So we became the go-to for a lot of star car fans and people that were fans of the weirdest shows and everything from Miami Vice and I keep saying the Fall Guy from Starsky and Hutch to you name it, the weirdest shows. And then we started figuring out that Hollywood would hide things in license plates. Um, the Blues Brothers license plate is BDR 529, Illinois, and that's Black Diamond Riders, and their address was 529, and that was the first club that Jan Dan Aykroyd ever played at. And we never really realized how much hidden stuff. Um, Herbie the Love Bug, OFP 857, our first production, August of 1957. And that was the first time the, the director or producer worked together, and I believe it was a Zorro movie of all things. But so we learned how to do all this stuff. We realized that there was life beyond the Dukes of Hazard, and there was other uh, amazing builders that were building cars that took generations and lifetimes, and all they needed was to remove their state plate off the back and put a celebrity car license plate. So that's where celebrity car or celebrity machines just took off. And uh, we have made plates for countless movies and we would receive phone calls in the office from the folks working on Iron Man. We need Stark 11, Stark 4, Stark whatever. And we're like, sure, no problem. You know, and, and then they'll appear at the, at the premieres and all this stuff. And we're like going, oh, all of this happened in this little bitty backyard shop. So they invited us to bring our product to Amazon and there was a lot of licensing and a lot of things that we had to go through that this backyard garage business was not ready for. Uh, the CEO of my life, my wife, uh, is a whole lot smarter than I am. She just took my goofy idea and turned it into a living. And uh, we had to learn how to uh, adjust to not only Amazon in the United States, but overseas, 
because there are fans of celebrity cars everywhere. And we understand the fandom because we're fans too. It's absolutely nuts from where it was 20 years ago to where it is today. So then it gives us the ability to help make the world a better place. We have donated more license plates to the Michael J. Fox Foundation than any other place on earth. When there was a shooting in Dayton, Ohio, we did a plate that said Dayton Strong with the uh, and donated lots and lots of plates to that. It's weird that just that simple piece of aluminum on the, on the rear end of your car can help make the world a better place. But it's uh, each one does something, and you'll be like, oh, Travis, you did this or that plate, or I saw this, or or there's movies that aren't even out yet that we're making the plates for now. And animated movies, like weird stuff, like when Spies in Disguise came out on Christmas Day, we did the plate and we're like, how do we do an animated plate? We don't know. Audi didn't care. Just make it. Okay. It's made. There are some things coming down the pipe. And uh, if, like I said, if you'd have told me 20 years ago that I would be making license plates for a living uh, and not have a Department of Corrections number wearing oranges or stripes for a living, I'd have told you you were crazy. We are living in some strange economic times, and Premier is here to help you use those circumstances to buy your dream car. They have a simple lease program that makes it easier than ever to buy your dream car. They do financing for vintage and exotic cars. I've used them in the past, and I absolutely love Mitch and his team over there. So be sure to contact them before you go shopping to understand and get pre-approved for whatever your buying power is. That way you can go to the dealers, go to the private sellers, and make a very qualified, but perhaps a little bit insulting offer. 